Hi guys, by Rachel Tiffany here. It's the hundredth episode. Woohoo! Uh, sorry for the delay. I think I was feeling like, oh, I'm supposed to do something big for the hundredth episode. What could I do? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just very excited. Uh, so yeah, I leave tomorrow for that, and I, I don't know. I can't promise that I'll make a video while I'm there, cause I'm only gonna be there for two days. Okay. Um, my mom gave me these old diaries of mine she found, so I thought it would be fun for this mulatto diaries to go back into like my vintage old school diaries because I find them hilarious, okay? <laughs> this one, I think, this was my first one and I think I got this in the second grade, so I was probably seven. I wrote in it from May 7th through on May 14th, I only got as far as Dear Diary. Is this I'm going to read some of these to you because I like them. Okay, May 8th, Dear Diary, blah, 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 blah. Today, one of my friends came to school. She was very sick. Her name is Michelle Frontera. I was mad because she would not talk to me. She would only talk to her other friend, Dawn. So I told her that I was not her friend, so she did not care at all. But I was still mad. I thought she would be nice when she came back, but was wrong. Dear Diary, I got Mommy her Mother's Day present. It was what she asked for. It was a black tray with light pink and purple flowers. I hope she likes it. She said she liked it before, so I think she still likes it. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one. Dear Diary, today I have breakdance lessons. I hope it's fun. He was asleep. I woke him up. My grandmom told me he had to go somewhere. She told me to leave him alone. I was mad, so I went in the bathroom. <laughs> Dear Diary, Today I helped Granddaddy cut the leaves and grass. It was so hot, I did not know what to do. Finally, he let me go inside. I got a drink and changed clothes. C-L-O-S-E. I do not recall ever calling my grandfather Granddaddy. I've always called my dan dad's parents Grandma and Grandpa, so I, this is funny to me. After that, we went to the movies. We saw Grace Stoke, The Legend of Tarzan. I did not like it. I thought it was very sad when I got home. It was very late. I went straight to bed. I totally remember seeing that movie, and I cried so hard at that movie, and that might have been, like, the first movie. Mm, no, I think Irreconcilable Differences with Drew Barrymore was the first movie that I ever cried really hard at. But um, I definitely remember being just so hurt by Legends of Greystoke. Dear Diary, today I went to get my hair washed. The end. <laughs> now we move ahead to like my really fancy journal that I got like, I don't know, maybe in the fifth grade and it says, my diary. Please don't read this. It is private. Thank you, Tiffany Diane Jones. Okay. There are like over two years, the first two years I had this journal, there are three entries and then I started like rewriting it in the eighth grade. Diary. Well, once again, it's been a very long time since I've written. I'm really not the type to write faithfully in a diary. I like to look back and read my stuff, though. I'm sorry this is so sloppy. Lots of things are going on in my life right now, both good and bad. The bad thing is that I'm in eighth grade and we have to graduate, of course. I really don't want to. It seems as though my life has gone by in a week. Obviously, it hasn't. I don't live close to any of my friends. I won't see them that much ever again. Do you think I'm blowing this out of proportion? Enough of that. I still have about three months left. I'll enjoy it. I don't even know where I'm going to high school. I also have to get braces. Yucky tating. It really says that. Now to the good news. I've been babysitting more money. I'm also auditioning for Fiddler on the Roof. The best news is I think I'm going to audition for a star search. <laughs> this has been quite a long entry. I think I should save some room. That's funny because can you see how? <laughs> I think I should save some room, it says right here. Okay, I plan on keeping this for the rest of my life, so I'm going to tell you about Philip. I will never forget him, but just in case, I'll write this. Philip is a baby with AIDS. He is three now. I met him when he was two. He was christened at our school church through my teacher, Mrs. Lopez. My whole grade went. After that, I was obsessed with him. I got his phone number and called him and went to visit him at home. I was the only one in school who did this. 
Well, we grew very close, and he became like my brother. At the moment, he is still alive. I love him very much. I just wanted to remember him when I get old. Thanks for listening. Okay, so now we move on. Once again, it has been way over a year since I've written in here. I'm now going into my second year of high school at Sea Home. I start tomorrow. I love school, and I can't wait. A lot has happened since you last heard from me. I've made many new friends, but still keep in touch with the old ones. I was in the musical at school, The Music Man, and I was Amaryllis. It was the most fun I have ever had. Dot, dot, dot. I am now obsessed with Amy Grant. She is so talented and pretty and nice. I have such respect for her and would give almost anything to meet her and be friends with her. Yeah, right. I'll work on it, though. <laughs> The worst thing that happened to me is that Philip died. I couldn't believe it. I hadn't talked to him in a while, and I was so shocked. I've never lost anyone close to me, and I was just miserable. It's weird that the last time I wrote in here, it was about him. He died April 1st, 1991. I will never forget the day that I found out, April 2nd. Um, okay. It's been a while. I love God. I know this sounds strange, but in the last month, he has become so important to me. I owe this to Amy Grant. I thank her for it. She showed me how important God is and how real he is. I also love her very much now. <laughs> Next to God, Amy is the most prominent figure in my life. I need to talk to her. I have it set in my mind and my heart that I will. <laughs> then it's like my senior year. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is my junior year. It's been a long time. Do I even need to say it? I'm 16 now. I can drive. I love it. School is okay, but I can't wait to graduate. I still love Amy Grant, but I am not in such a big rush to meet her. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. This new year has been awful, and I can't wait till 1994. I don't know how to write this because it is so unreal. Nana died two weeks ago today. She wasn't sick or anything. I just don't believe it. I don't see how my life can go on without her. I think this tragedy has changed my personality forever. I don't really know how because I'm still trying to deal with the final reality of this situation. And that was my grandmother. So I called my mom's mom, Nana, and I called my dad's parents, Grandma and Grandpa, but I wrote Granddaddy when I was seven for some reason. These, these are mulatto diaries right here. Um, yeah. And um, thank you to all 2,050 some people who have subscribed to this. It's really shocking to me and makes me happy. So thank you. The first thing I want to say is that I'm going to California tomorrow for the Mixed Roots Film and Literary Festival uh, where Mulatto Diaries the movie will be shown on Saturday. And I'm just so excited, um, so looking forward to meeting people that I have been interacting with online for the last year. Um, and some of my old friends from my life are going to be there. and my sister Megan and my mom is going. So if I can make a video or, you know, interview somebody or something, that would be really fun, but I just am going. <laughs>